Hey everyone, so we are going to have our last uh, video of this series uh, on inheritance that covers uh, a little bit more about polymorphism, uh, but specifically another, another form of polymorphism and how they relate to interfaces. And so in our last video, we made an interface called iAttack. Uh, we worked with some fields uh, in that interface and we implemented the iAttack interface on a class called Warrior. Now, uh, to uh, demonstrate polymorphism and inherit, uh, in, excuse me, in interfaces, I need to build out uh, another class that implements iAttack. And um, before I do that, I just want to note um, that with interfaces, uh, you know, we could say that a an, an interface reference variable can reference any object that implements that interface. Okay, so that's kind of the the, the theme that we're working with here, and that's kind of the sentence that's really uh, valuable as far as the theory goes. That an interface reference variable can reference any object that implements that interface. Now I'm going to show you what that means and I'm going to show you how that could be useful to us. But for me to do that I need to build out this example just real quick. Um, we've got a warrior class that attacks but uh, you know just staying with our, our simple theme here of, uh, of, of gaming characters. I'll create a new class called wizard and, and drag wizard over here. So we got warrior, we have wizard and uh, because we want to make sure wizards have attacks, we're going to implement I attack interface. Yeah. Um, because we implement the interface, it says there's our methods we must override. So let's go ahead and add the unimplemented methods. And let's uh, build out these methods real quick to return. A fireball uh, causes one damage. And this would say a uh, bigger fireball causes two damage for W. And then the next one will say in even bigger fireball. You get the idea, right? It's not really uh, what the method does, but you get the idea that they go up in damage. And then we'll, this, the, the ultimate, if you will, uh, the R attack, will say a, um, a giant fireball causes, all of a sudden we're doing lots of damage, right? So wizard implements I attack all the attacks are fireballs and they all cause some amount of damage. Okay, now uh, to go back to the demo now, we say that an interface reference variable can reference any object that implements that interface. So what does that mean? That means that our interface, I attack, uh, you know, we'll call this uh, tune, uh, tune one, like equals new warrior and and this is a a valid instance of uh, of a reference variable this tune one can be a new warrior and you could say I attack tune two equals new wizard and both of these are valid because wizard implements an I attack and warrior implements the I attack interface so these are, are both valid uh, references to uh, an I attack reference variable. So how could you use that, right? So I just wanted to demonstrate uh, that these are valid uh, in code. Well, and then what you could do here is since since tune one is a warrior, we could say system out print line tune one dot q attack 
And since 2-1 references a warrior, it'll call the Q attack a warrior. Smash for however many damage. Uh, if we change this to 2, Tune 2, Tune 2 references a wizard. And you can see then the fireball causes 1 damage. Uh, so we can uh, use this in our methods as well. Uh, and so let's go ahead and write a public static uh, void method that uh, that is simply called uh, mash attacks. Like you get all of the Q, W, E, and R, right? You're going to do all your attacks when you call this method, just one right after the other. And this is going to accept an I attack reference variable, and we're just going to call this tune. Okay, now here uh, in our class, we'll just generate a regular old warrior, warrior one equals new warrior, and we're going to change this to uh, wizard, wiz one is new wizard. And so we create a regular object uh, as we have in the past. In our in our main method, and in our uh, back to our method, um, we're going to say tune dot q attack tune dot w attack q tune dot e attack excuse me tune dot r attack, and we'll go ahead and do a print line for each one of these. Q, W, E, and R. Okay, and now we can pass our objects into this method that accepts an I attack, and it will be a valid cast, right? It will automatically, this wizard reference variable will be cast into an I attack, and we showed how that was valid uh, with those previous lines of code. So if I go ahead and call mash attack and I pass it warrior one pass it the warrior one object into the mash attack it gets cast into an I attack reference variable called tune and then now this tune references the warrior and if I go ahead and run that you could see that it does all of the damage for the warrior now all I have to do is change the object that we passed this method to wizard one and wizard one, I attack now tune references a wizard. Again, this is polymorphic behavior. This this uh, method call and this reference variable, um, the outcome of what the action is depends on the object that it's currently referencing, and and, and you could do that with interfaces. So that is, uh, you know, this is your interface and this is polymorphic behavior. So if I go ahead and finish this demonstration, the wizard gets cast into the, the I attack uh, reference variable called tune, and then you demonstrate the attacks, and you can see now that these are all of the attacks from the wizard. Uh, so that is polymorphism and interfaces explained.